Dear friends, we welcome you to our Prophetic Times event, uh, Prophetic mm -hmm. event as we've said it before. I'd just like to thank you for taking the time to be here and uh, I believe uh, it will be a great blessing to you uh, as we go through the evening and we've got a few things in, in store for you. Uh, but before we go any further, I would just like to make a couple of announcements uh, so that uh, we are we are able to first thing i like to say is that uh, if you could uh, share this uh, feed uh, as as we are going through that to any people you feel or friends that you feel would be interested uh encourage you that you could do that so we can get the word out uh, to a whole lot of different people second one is that uh, i just want you to take a note that uh, i will be addressing certain things with wisdom because we live in politically correct times and uh, so for that reason I will uh, say certain things in a certain way and uh, I believe you'll be able to understand what I'm trying to say just to please do take a note, note of that. Uh, we'd also like you to, to write a comment uh, and tell us where you're from so that uh, we'd like to know who are the different people are, are tuning in for our, uh, our, our live feed today. Another thing is that uh, we are looking at doing about four weeks of uh, prophetic times, a block of four weeks. So not only this uh, Friday, the next three Fridays we will be on as well. And then we'll do it as God leads. But at the moment, uh, I feel in my spirit to, to speak uh, to the body of Christ uh, uh, with regards to things that uh, pertains to matters of the church and of the world and of the believer personally. So I just want to say that, that you'll take take time to be here over the next uh, uh, four weeks and uh, uh, to, uh, you know, to, to view the feed. Uh, the other thing is that uh, we will, if you, any one of you want to contact me, uh, you could do at uh, Coastal Life Church, that's our west website, coastallifechurch.com. You can see the website there. Uh, that's a place where you can get in touch with me. Uh, things like that after the meeting uh, we'll we'll get back to you and uh, uh, let you know <clears throat> and uh, just one last thing that uh, if any one of you are blessed uh, by the ministry uh, and uh, you'd like to sow, uh, you know feel free to do that we leave that to you uh, totally and completely uh, uh, so we are going to have a great time tonight and uh, so I want to just start it off with uh, prayer tonight uh, uh, let's just uh, wherever you are, just so let's pray to the Lord. Father, we thank you. Lord, we commit this time into your hand. Lord, we truly are living in prophetic times, Lord. I thank you, my God, that you got a plan and a purpose for planet Earth. But more important than that, you got a plan and a purpose for the church, the body of Christ, and much more important than that. That even in this COVID times, as we call it, Lord, I thank you that you got a plan and a purpose for every individual believer and for every child of God. Father, I thank you, God. That's our confidence, my God. And therefore, Lord, we look to you. We do not look at world events. We do not look at what's happening around us. But we look to our faithful creator, our holy redeemer, and our blessed Holy Spirit to guide us, to navigate, navigate us through this difficult time. Therefore, our eyes are upon you. And we thank you, my God, that you'll speak to your people at, at, at different junctures. And you'll lead us and guide us by your spirit, Lord who's come to lead us and guide us into all truth. Therefore, we thank you. We commit this time, this session into your hand and we pray, Lord, that you'll bless this time, bless each and every person who are tuning into this uh, mm -hmm. uh, session. Bless them abundantly, Lord, and we commit uh, this meeting into your hand. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. So we like to come to uh, the first thing here. We want to say that uh, I would... We've got a couple of different things we want to do today. Uh, uh, first thing, probably we like to start off with uh, the whole uh, prophetic ministry. Uh, God has called me to the prophetic office and I've been functioning in it in, in a different level. But I sense that at this uh, particular point in time, the Spirit of God is beginning to breathe on me more and more and uh, I'm get, beginning to get a lot of prophetic words coming to me about nation, about government and uh, and I sense that God is hastening uh, his work on the earth and he's also bringing me and therefore I want to declare today that God
God has called to me, called me to be a prophet and a prophet to the nation. And, and I see that mantle beginning to come on me in a greater and a stronger way these days than ever before. And uh, therefore, that is why uh, things are happening to me that has not happened in times past. This uh, evening, I'm going to share on some prophecies and share. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of everything tonight uh, mm -hmm. because I don't have a real message per se, but I'd like to share with you uh, what the Spirit of God has uh, uh, done through me and, and, and through others. And uh, so we are going to look at some uh, particular prophetic events that has taken place in the past. And one thing I want to say to you, the days are hastening. The days are hastening. And I want to share with you certain things and certain prophecies uh, that uh, I, I believe uh, will, will, uh, will inspire us, encourage us, and, uh, and uh, that will help us. Amen. So I believe the prophetic, well, I'm not a, 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 a doom and gloom prophet. Not, definitely not. Uh, probably I'm a happy prophet. If that's what they call me, you know, I'm happy, uh, but I'm happy in the Lord. I'm happy because I'm happy in the Lord. Uh, uh, but uh, I want to just share with you certain aspects about the uh, prophetic ministry. And uh, so what we do for a start is that we are going to look at uh, some prophecies that has, uh, uh, has happened in the past. And I would like to share it with them in certain words of God that has come and uh, uh, in the past that and and it and as I, I talk about Australia some of these words would have certain meanings attached to that the first uh, one I like to speak to you about is that uh, about Australia and angels guarding Australia amen it was reported in between 1947 and 1948 that uh, a band of angels uh, appeared uh, uh, over Darwin during the time of the Japanese bombing. Amen. Uh, the time of the Japanese bombing, uh, a band of angels appeared over Australia and, uh, and, and that was a protection. And I want to say to you, even way back, God had a plan and a purpose for this great nation, this great Southland of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And uh, uh, he has a purpose and his hand is upon Australia. If you are in Aussie, I want to say to you, my brother and sister, God's hand is upon Australia. I, I, I feel strongly in my spirit. Not only that, I believe that Australia is the apple of God's eye, just like Jerusalem and Israel is. I, I believe there's a, a particular grace over this nation. I believe God has set aside Australia for a particular reason in these end times uh, to to to. to to bring forth his plan and purposes. So uh, if you are an Aussie, you know, be, 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 I say to you, be blessed, be blessed. You are blessed. And that's why I want to say that. But this particular uh, incident about the angels appearing uh, over Darwin uh, during the Japanese bombing, a band of angels, mm -hmm. shows that even way back, uh, God sent is upon Australia. And you and I can rejoice in that. Amen. And I'll talk about other things that we regard Australia in a moment, but I'm just taking you back in history and share with you certain things that has happened that, uh, that, that should comfort our hearts that uh, uh, the Lord God is with us and not only with us, but over this nation. Amen. So that's number one. Now there's another uh, thing about Australia too. This is about Australia still. In in the late eighties, there was a prophet by the name of Roger Teal who came from England to Brisbane, and uh, he said there will come a time when Australia will have to choose between its major ally and its trading partner. Now this is going back, my friends, going back about 30, 30 over years, over thirty five years around there, long time ago. Back then, this prophet gave this word uh, in Australia, in Brisbane, saying that Australia as a nation will come to a point of time where they will have to choose between their trading partner and their major ally. And, and I believe uh, uh, we are in those days already. Hallelujah. 30, 30 over years, we are in those days already. We are here. We are making a choice between our our major ally and our major trading partner. And, and you all know what I'm talking about. Uh, what I'm saying is that, so nothing is happening. 
to this great nation of Australia without the foreknowledge of God. In it all, the hand of God is there. God is leading, guiding, and directing this nation into its divine purposes. So be, 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 uh, be, be assured, amen? Be assured. Do not fear. Hallelujah. Do not fear. Hey, we may look at COVID and begin to fear, but I would like to say to you, do not fear the hand of God is over this nation. Amen. If we were to give a prophetic word 30 over years ago saying that Australia as a nation will have to choose between its major trading partner and its major ally 34, 30 over years ago, man, God is in control. He's in control of this nation of Australia. So that's a second example in, in, in history uh, that I'm bringing it to you. Why do I uh, talk about this particular prophecies to give you hope and it's all not doom and gloom uh, Like to say that it's all not doom and gloom. God is in control The living God is watching over rest and especially the nation of Australia I want to say that to other nations as well, but as I address Australia as I live in this nation uh, and and uh, I want to make a particular note of uh, Australia and God's uh, plan and purposes for this nation Hallelujah. So that's it. And I, and I want to take, go to a third one. Uh, third, one uh, third one is a prophecy uh, uh, given in uh, 1986. Uh, maybe I'll have a slide over there. Uh, it's a prophecy given by David Wilkerson. Amen. Uh, in New York uh, uh, Times Church. He gave a prophecy in 1986. And this is what the prophecy reads. You know, he reads here, 1986, uh, and, and the bars and the churches and government will shut down. The plague will hit New York City and shake it like it has never been shaken before. The plague is going to force prayerless believers into radical prayers and into their Bibles and repentance will be the cry from the man of God in the pulpit. And out of it will come the third great awakening that will sweep, sweep America and the world. 1986, David Wilkerson. What an awesome uh, prophecy. Amen. Uh, the good, I, I used to read about David, David Wilkerson when I was a teenager and you know, the founder of Teen Challenge. And uh, uh, 34 years ago, that pro and today that prophecy is happening right before our eyes. Amen. New York has the highest number of uh, a death uh, in the world. Amen. Uh, the bars are shut down and uh, the churches are shut down and uh, you know uh, th things are in a very difficult place in uh, in 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 the US uh, all around the world but particularly the US uh, but i want to say to you it has not happened uh, uh, just out of the blues god knew about covid god knew about the epidemic god sometimes allows some things to happen amen so there are two things we can either focus on we can either you can focus on on the epidemic or you can focus on on the uh, third great awakening that's why america amen you get what you focus on is what you focus on but what i'm trying to say tonight my friend is that that uh, god is seated on the throne nothing is happening at this point of time without his express knowledge he knows about it 34 years ago through david wilkerson he prophesied that bars and churches would be closed down who would have thought a thing like that this talk about new york at the city that never sleeps amen that's a great saying about new york great new york the city but the bars and and you know the light has gone out in a sense when i talk about the bars uh, uh, are closed and, and churches too god knows about it god knows about it and we take our confidence in that uh, through what what he said so i want to share those those three initial prophecies with you uh, because uh, it gives me great confidence in a time of shaking in a time of difficulty in a time of uncertainty amen it gives me confidence my god my god is in control my god rules and reigns over the world my God knows all things and nothing is without his express knowledge. Amen. That gives me confidence. And I know next that he knows how to take care of me. And I want to say that to you, my brothers and sisters, uh, whatever your situation may be, your job, your work, your family, your situation. Hey, listen to me. He knows about it. 
He knows about it and uh, he is uh, working. Uh, he's got a plan for your life. Again, I want to say this to you. God has a plan for your life, even in this COVID season. So those are the things that I want to address today, first and foremost. Uh, and uh, uh, right now, I want to really speak to you from uh, my own experience. So those, are, those are prophecies that have been fulfilled. And uh, today I want to talk about uh, some prophecies that uh, I've released uh, over the years and uh, that uh, uh, by the grace of God, we have seen uh, things uh, begin to take place. So I'd like to uh, take you to uh, one of the first prophecies. Uh, one of the first prophecies that I uh, gave uh, a very, I mean, there were many prophecies. I, I prophesied over cabinet ministers, I prophesied over uh, politicians, I prophesied over government leaders, business people, church leaders, you know, all that. But, uh, you know, we, we, but, but this particular prophecy is uh, of significance uh, uh, because, uh, uh, can I have that prophecy, darling, about uh, Scott Morrison? Uh, this uh, I prophesied about Scott Morrison, and this is how the prophecy came. It says here, I just want to put it out here, is that uh, prophecy that confirms Scott Morrison mm -hmm. that God's appointed man for the nation. One month, Exactly one month before the election of Prime Minister Scott Morrison, on 24th of July 2008, I, I released a prophecy at our church prayer meeting and at our corporate prayer meeting, that is, and this was a prophecy. There's going to be a turnaround in the politics of this nation. God is going to move and replace the esteemed ones in the government. He is going to bring in an appointed man who will be supportive Listen to me that and hear that well, who will be supportive of the coming move of God in this nation. And those who stand for righteousness will be elected. Now that's a prophetic word. It Actually, I gave it uh, at, at, at the corporate prayer meeting. And uh, at that time, you know, we, we haven't recorded any of our prophecies. But at that time, I felt that, my, this is a very important a prophecy that God is saying something here. And so what I did was, as soon as the, the prayer meeting was over, I quickly wrote down, uh, uh, wrote down the prophecy and kept it for my own personal thing. And, 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 and I just left it at that. And uh, I, I, it was recorded by hand. Uh, we, you know, we still don't tape our prophecies that happened at our prayer meetings. Uh, uh, but some people, me or somebody, will record it and will keep it. Uh, so this was a prophecy that was given in the month of 24th of July, uh, 24th of July, uh, uh, 2018. Uh, 2000, uh, 2018. August. August, yeah. Uh, no, the, 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 the uh, election was on August, August, but the prophecy was in July. And, and I want to say to you, by the grace of God, exactly one month later, Scott Morrison came in, came in, uh, he was not destined to be, mm -hmm. but by uh, by the hand of God, I believe, like I always believe, everything happened by the hand of God. By the hand of God, he first came in and as an interim uh, prime minister, and uh, the Bible says, uh, I mean, uh, the prophecy said that uh, mm -hmm. God will move move in a person, uh, and that was a partial uh, re a fulfillment when he replaced that steam one, Al Malcolm Turnbull, on 24th of August. And the total... Uh, a fulfillment of that prophecy that was spoken on 20, uh, 24th of July uh, 2018 was in uh, when he was elected uh, on the 18th of uh, 18th of May uh, 2019 as a prime minister and he says this he says it is a miracle miracle amen he came in is a miracle and he says that I believe in miracles amen so that is one of my first prophecies that uh, uh, national prophecies that God gave it uh, and, and, and I released it and that came to pass. Amen. Uh, probably that took about a month for that uh, particular prophecy to come to pass and uh, uh, God, God did it. Amen. I, I'm saying that uh, these are the days of prophetic fulfillment as well. Amen. These are the times of prophetic fulfillment and that prophecy came to pass. So just uh, letting you know and uh, there's another uh, a prophecy I, I want to talk about uh, uh, that uh, uh, this is the second one I would like to share on is uh, it will be available in our website uh, is uh, uh, the ABC 
Uh, in, uh, during our prayer meeting, again in uh, our corporate prayer meeting, you know, so this is on 24th of September. Uh, at our corporate prayer meeting, I was stirred by the Spirit of God to declare judgment on the ungodly media. A lot of things were happening in the media and, and I sent the Spirit of God begin to stir me and to declare a judgment on the ungodly media. And I did that with not really me, but with a bunch of uh, uh, our, our praying people and uh, uh, we de decreed judgment uh, uh, through a rhema word that I received in the Lord, uh, received from the Lord. And uh, a month later or so, roughly around that time of period, uh, the, the, the newspaper came up with this article in which happened that ABC Sex Managing Director Michelle Guthrie, hallelujah, ABC Sex, uh, the, managing, the Managing Director, and, uh, and she got her sack and she lost her job. I believe that is one, one of the, the, the judgments of God that uh, uh, as, as a result of that. Uh, uh, the third one, honey, can I have a look at that, please? Uh, I don't know what's there. Let's, let's look at the slide and we will just, I'll just share with you. Okay, next one, honey. Okay, just hold on. Okay, just keep that picture there. And uh, so there we go. We, we leave it at that. So we'll talk about Jennifer Leclerc in a moment. Uh, I've got something to say about that. And I just want to say that, uh, uh, so those are the things that God has uh, 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 used me in. And, uh, and, and, and uh, uh, it's a time, I believe in, and all these uh, things happen pretty fast. So I just uh, want to say that, uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm, you know, some people, are, 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 how shall I say, they see some here, uh, I don't know, with me, the Spirit of God comes upon me and I just begin to speak out words that I've not premeditated. Uh, probably they call people like me the Nabi prophet. Nabi prophet is one who bubbles forth. Amen. The Word of God kind of jumps out of you. And uh, when I give these prophecies, in fact, all prophecies that I do give out, uh, you know, it comes about as a result of uh, a bubbling from within and, and I release those words. So those, those are the... Uh, three things and uh, so I just want to to kind of build a foundation that uh, I believe these are the days uh, of the fulfillment of the prophecies of God amen God is doing a quick work amen doing a quick work things happening very fast now at this point of time I would like to take you to uh, some prophecies that I received from the Lord uh, which I like to share with you so first I like to share the prophecy that I had received about uh, Australia, and I, I like to talk about Australia first. Uh, uh, the word of the Lord uh, that came to me uh, is that uh, that Australia. Uh, these are uh, there are few things as well, like that. Uh, Australia is a nation of great compassion, and uh, the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me. God uh, recognizes this compassion that we have. It's a compassion that he, he has placed within our uh, within the mm -hmm. nation. It's a compassionate nation that gives very charitably to the nations of the world. Uh, that one thing. And, uh, and I said the Spirit of God said to me that Australia too is the apple of his eyes because of that compassionate nature. And the Spirit of God said this to me that the Australian economy will not be affected in the coming turnarounds and the turmoil, economic turmoil that is coming around. God is going to preserve Australia and the economy will not be affected. Hallelujah. We will rise. We will do well, says the Spirit of God. For I favor this nation, I've called this nation, I've set aside Australia to be a light in these last days, and I'm going to to prosper her. Now that prophecy is just coming out. I'm, I'm going to pres preserve her, and I'm going to prosper her. And the uh, Spirit of God said that uh, a gold, oil, silver, and other mineral resources are going to be found within her. Amen. I believe uh, uh, things that are there, resources that are there, uh, that the enemy through has, has, has held back, it is going to come, it is going to find, there are going to be great finds, says the Spirit of God. Men are going to dig it all up and it's come and I will use it in the time that is ahead to build the economy of this nation. For hidden her treasures in the ground, says the Spirit of God. Uh, that's the other thing the Lord spoke to me. 
And uh, the third thing the Lord spoke to me with regard to Australia is that, that uh, 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 God is going to uh, open up land that is locked up because of legislation. Amen. God is going to open up land that is lo locked up in legislation. But the day is coming, says the Lord, I will, I'll open it up. I'll free it up that they are able to, to mine the resources. And, uh, and, and it will bring a, a great uh, Australia, Australia will boom greatly in the days that is coming. Last thing the Lord said to me is that, that Australia will become the breadbasket to the world. We are going to feed the nations of the world. God has kept us aside in the days of famines, great famines that is ahead. Spirit of the Lord uh, uh, says to me that he's going to make Australia into a great uh, bread basket. Even as I think about that, I think about, oh, glory to God, I'm getting drunk, my brother. Uh, Jesus, thank you, Lord. Uh, even as uh, Egypt was a bread basket in the times of uh, Joseph, Australia will be a great bread basket. Uh, God is going to bless this nation. And uh, these are some of the plans uh, that God has got for Australia. And a couple of other words that God gave it to me. Uh, Australia will bend her knees to the Lord. Amen. And it will be a torchbearer to the world. Australia has been kept for a divine purpose. I believe this nation all by itself, a whole huge continent out there, down under, away from all the other nations. The Bible says holiness means being separated unto the Lord. I sense in my spirit this nation has been kept, has been separated from the other nations of the world for God's divine end time purposes and blessing. And that the Lord uh, uh, had me had me to. Uh, also, also my brothers and sisters, uh, during the times of uh, prayer, uh, intense prayer that we have in our meetings, uh, I sense uh, angels uh, are around uh, Scott Morrison. Amen. I, 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 I you know, as a, as a politician, you know, he's got to make some decisions, some favorable, some not so favorable, but I believe there's a divine destiny upon that man, and the Spirit of the Lord says he's brought him up at this point of time to fulfill his divine purpose. What God spoke to me, that he will be, uh, uh, he'll be supportive of the coming move of God, that when God begins to move, but in this season, he's going to keep him, God is going to protect him, and the thing that God showed me was that uh, the angels are going to be around him. Amen. And angels come for a couple of reasons. And one thing is that they strengthen them, strengthen, they bring them and they, they bring revelation. Uh, like the Bible says, the book of Revelation, that the revelations are given to the angel and the angel gave it to John the Apostle. Amen. And they have ability to communicate and release uh, revelations uh, uh, into into a person. And I believe that uh, uh, Scott Morrison, our Prime Minister Scott Morrison, is receiving revelation by the Spirit of God. God uh, and angels are there, even right in the in, in the uh, 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 in, in the cabinet, in parliament, and they are working. There's a supernatural work of God that is taking uh, place in that play uh, in that place, and God is giving him supernatural wisdom and uh, revelation. Amen. One of the things that, uh, uh, and uh, where there is uh, fear, there is an absence of wisdom. And I, I strongly believe uh, God is going to give him that revelation and that wisdom that he will not fear what has happened, what is coming, but he will act by the wisdom of God because I've seen his angels write about him. And uh, I just want to say that uh, uh, in the future, and then I'll explain that in a little while, in the future, Listen to me, people, God, in the future, Australia will have a robust economy. It will be a, a economy will bloom. I, I've got words for you. I'm, uh, I'm saying to you by the spirit of the Lord, Australia in the days to come is going to bloom. We may go through a difficult, we may have a difficult time, but I'm saying to you by the spirit of God, uh, economy is going to, 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 to bloom. I've got something else to say about uh, families, but uh, uh, that is a word that uh, 
the Lord has given me uh, for this nation. Amen. Uh, that uh, God has got a plan. Uh, the economy in the future will will bloom. Uh, 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 all the legislation that locks up her resources are going to be opened up, and uh, His protection is going to be over this. Uh, uh, a nation, amen. Australia, blessed art thou if thou art an Aussie, hallelujah. I really not to say that we're anything special, but I sense that God's hand is upon us in a in a in a in a, in a manner that uh, uh, that only God can uh, do that. So that that that's with regard to to Australia. Uh, next thing I want to uh, uh, speak about uh, is uh, uh, a nation. And I need to, I would like to say it this way, okay. One of our major trading partners in the days to come, the government is going to fall. God is going to shake the foundation of that nation, which is our major trading partner. One, the government is going to be shaken. Second, two, he's going to shake the economy of that nation. And God is said to me and say that he'll make her, make her naked. He'll strip her of her things and uh, expose her nakedness and, and he shall be ashamed. Uh, and that will happen. A third thing the Lord says about this particular nation, because they persecuted my people, they've tortured my people, they've imprisoned my people for such a long time, I'm going to take vengeance for the blood of the martyrs is crying out to me, says the Spirit of God. The blood of the martyrs is crying out and God uh, is going to move upon this nation. Amen. So that uh, a particular nation is going to come into judgment. Uh, it's one of Australia's major trading partners. God's hand uh, is, uh, uh, is upon it for that purpose. Amen. So we will begin to see of the shaking in the days to come. Uh, now I just say, uh, and after that says the Spirit of God, that the, the a revival will break out in this great nation and uh, the people will be set, set, set free. And the last thing that the, the Lord said that, that he will say, slay the dragon. He's going to slay that the dragon is going to be slain and, uh, and, uh, and she's going to be weakened. And the judgment of God is going to come upon her. Amen. That's a word for that nation. It's a major trading partner of Australia. Amen. So we are, we are living in a, a quite a, a unprecedented times, the famous word unprecedented. But now I'd like to take you to this particular lady here that you see here. Can you just have a little bit of that? Her name is Jennifer Leclerc, and she's a major prophetic voice in the U.S., and uh, I occasionally listen to her as I listen to a lot of prophetic ministries too. So I, I just talking about this major, uh, major, uh, 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 what do you call that? Major economic partner. Did I say that? Trading partner. Trading partner. Major okay. trading partner. I call that. And, and you all understand what I'm talking about. I have to say it in that manner that I say it. Have my reasons. Uh, so that was on Tuesday. Okay, this is interesting. This is Tuesday night. Tuesday night, our prayer meeting night. I'm praying with a dozen or so people. We're praying and by the, uh, you know, under the unction of God, I get this prophetic word saying that judgment is coming to a major trading partner and if God is going to strip her, going to make her naked and... Uh, 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 and 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 uh, take vengeance on her for the blood of the saints, amen. It has been shed. So I, so this is the first time that I prophesied over this nation, and I've never done before. It's never in my heart to prophesy or things like that. But in the prayer meeting, uh, you know, our prayer meetings are such. You know, we get really fired up in the spirit, and then we just let the, 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 the words come forth. And uh, so I came down, you know, and I was thinking, you know, what a word, what a word, what a word. I knew what, what God was saying, but, you know, as all of us do, you know, we all have our doubts. Hallelujah. 
after we've prophesied, the natural man kicks in and you begin to doubt your very own words. But I knew at the time when I'm under the unction of the Holy Ghost, full of the Holy Ghost, and I know it is coming out of my spirit and I know it is true. But then, you know, your mind begins to, 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 to question things and I begin to question it. Not really question it, started pondering. This is Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. I get down and, you know, I stay in a double story house and I come down in the morning for my morning prayers and uh, as, uh, my devotion. And uh, as I'm coming down and, uh, and, and this, this program came on, I just looked through the, my thing to say, okay, and I saw her, saw her on, on, on and, and she was, uh, she, she came on the thing and he said, I have a word for the body of Christ. Amen. That's what she said. I've got a word for the body of Christ and I need to release it. And uh, she shared on two other things that I don't want to share with you today because I just want to focus on this third point. He said, but he said something. She said that, and she, this is the way she said that. She said that uh, it's the will of God. God wants to topple this government. The government we are talking about. And that, that is within 12 hours after I've released that prophecy, the confirmation comes to me that what I've received is from the Lord. He said, the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me and said, God, to topple this particular uh, uh, government. Amen. Not Australia. Hey? Not Australia. Yeah, uh, this, uh, the, this, uh, the, the trading partner. We are not talking about Australia. We're talking about that nation that I said that God wants to. Uh, and uh, she, she said that. She said that God wanted. And I said, thank you, Lord. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Because, uh, uh, you know, that's a major thing. And to say that. So I know what I heard in the spirit and the prophetic word that uh, uh, that is God's judgment awaiting uh, uh, that is then, and then we'll see it uh, come to pass. Uh, when is that? One more word. Uh, uh, I just want to release all this word, and uh, that word is that uh, that uh, there will be an, an incident. A name. Oh, Rabasha Kabonde, Bronde ne Mahaya ya 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 bro. Oh, bro, chikende le bro, bo chikende le bro. He brande ne mako. Oh, chikende le ba shibire le be. Oh, ribiki shika bronde ne mahanda. Le bro bo kabonde ne ne. Mende ne ne ne. Amen. There will be a naval confrontation in the seas north of Australia, the enemy will bring about a, a situation that could lead to a confrontation, naval confrontation that could have big repercussion in the region and beyond. But the Spirit of the Lord is saying, I will thwart it and I will avert it. Amen. I will thwart it and I will avert it. I believe God is in control of that situation. You know, we may hear of some things, uh, but I believe the major impact of that uh, in the days to come uh, is going to to be uh, 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 is going to be thwarted. So I just feel to release that particular prophecy to you, Amen. Because some of us do have concerns, Amen. We do have concerns as we we know things. We do have concerns, but that is the word of the Lord. With regard to that nation and the confrontation that could uh, possibly happen, but it's not going to be because God, the Spirit of the Lord, says that He will He will avert it. It will not come to pass, and I believe that will be good for Australia, uh, for for a whole lot of different reasons. That will be good good for the nation of Australia. So uh, those are some of the things that uh, I, I feel to release the prophetic word. Uh, this meeting is. Uh, uh, mainly geared towards that particular purpose to release a prophetic word. Uh, the next few nights, uh, the, the next three um, meetings, oh, Shakabonde, will be more in terms of uh, uh, teaching and different things, but today I feel to do that. Mm -hmm. And I just want to uh, say, you know, kind of concluded a bit of an exhortation. Uh, the Bible says in Amos uh, uh, chapter 3, verse 7, God will not do anything until he unless he reveals it to the, his servant, the prophets. Amen. 
So I believe that uh, there's a need for prophetic ministry in these days uh, because uh, uh, the secrets of the Lord need to be re revealed. The purposes of God need to be revealed and the plans of God need to be revealed. And the Spirit of God is saying that He is going to bring in more prophetic revelation that will begin to flow in the nations of the world, in the body of Christ. Uh, there will be ministers, uh, prophets will begin to get revelations from the Lord about the situation, about what's happening in the, uh, in, in, in the background uh, and sometimes what God uh, has planned to do. I want to say to you, a lot of Christians are just like non-Christians. We do live in a lot of fear. And that is why a prophetic revelation and prophecies are important because uh, uh, we need to tap into the mind of Christ, into the, in the, into the spirit realm and hear what the spirit of God says to the churches. Because but far too often, you know, uh, there's a media that is speaking. The media always has got a, a spin to everything. And uh, the media is also working by under uh, uh, a different agenda. Uh, but uh, I want to say to you that uh, uh, God has got a plan and a purpose. It will be all right. I want to say to every believer, it is going to be well with your soul. Hallelujah. He going to be well with you, so just trust the Lord and cast your cares upon Him, and uh, uh, things uh, God will take care of you. So, uh, so uh, God is revealing that. Uh, second thing I want to say to you, even as I say, I believe it applies to everybody that God uh, uh, we see in part uh, and we we prophesy in part. Amen. No man, no prophet uh, has got the whole picture, but we all see in part and we prophesy in part. That's the second thing. Uh, so uh, we just need to be open for the Holy Ghost to release uh, more things for us to, to see and to behold so that we can pray. And uh, this is the third most important thing. Amen. Uh, as, I, as I just get ready to, 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 to wind, wind up, we'll be finishing in a couple of minutes more. The timing of the prophecies. Uh, let me put it to you. David Wilkerson gave the prophecies, accounted the time. He gave it 34 years ago or so, mm. around 34 years ago, he said the pubs and the churches in New York will be closed. It's happening in our time. When they ask him, when will this happen? He said, I really don't know, but I think it's going, it's very close. That's why he's worked. But it took 34 years for the prophecy to unfold. And therefore, I just want you all to know that the, the, the timing of prophecies and, and, and things like that, uh, it takes a, a bit of a time. Uh, so just, just, uh, but just to give us hope and courage along the way. Many times prophecies are to give us hope and courage along the way, you know. And, and the last thing I want to say to you before we just close is that things will sometimes get worse before it gets better. Please take a note of that. So sometimes before uh, what God does, what he wants to do, sometimes things might take, you, you, there might be a hit, there might be things that are not pleasant. Uh, but I, I'm saying to you in the, in the long distance uh, what the plan and purposes of God is uh, for, for the nations, amen, and for individuals as well. So if you go through some tough times or whatever it is, Trust the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. He will not uh, see the seed uh, of the righteous begging for bread, which means God is saying he will take care of you. Amen. Whatever happens, God is in control of your life and uh, he's got a, a plan for your life. It will pan out well. Hallelujah. In the end, it will all pan out well for those who look to him. Amen. For those faith is there. Please anchor your faith in the Lord. Do not spend too much of time in the media. Amen. Uh, they are all full of negative. But God has got a plan and his plan is good. And he says he's got a plan and a future and a hope for you. Amen. That is an eternal promise of God and for you and me too. There may be a point of suffering. There may be that. But I'm telling you, eventually God will have his say. God will arise. The army of the Lord will arise. The church, the bride of Christ will arise. We will. The Bible says that we shall overcome. Amen. And I, I just want to say that to you and uh, uh, say that uh, uh, just take heed, take heed and pray and seek the face of God in this season. Seek the face of God. You know, this covered season is for us not to party and we can't even party because they don't allow gathering, but to really seek the face of God. Amen. Amen. Don't be 
a lockdown situation, let it be you're locked in with God. Amen. Be logged in with God as Jacob logged in with God and he received a touch of God. I want to say, I want to conclude by saying that uh, there are a lot of things I like to say, but uh, I probably will leave it out for next week. But God loves you. God has got a plan for you. Nothing is happening in the world by per chance. You know what I mean? Everything is, uh, God knows it, uh, about it all together, and he's working out his plans and purposes. Amen? It is happening. The devil is moving openly. Can I say God is moving secretly? Hallelujah. The, the devil has said made his move, but God is going to make his move. Amen? His move is coming. Amen? God's move, and I believe part of that move of God will be that great revival that has been prophesied by Smith Wigglesworth that will come into a nation and bless the nation. But I believe God has got blessing for the country as well. Amen? I believe the, the best days, church in Australia, listen to me, the best days are, are yet ahead for this nation of Australia and for the church. Best days. There'll be times of prosperity and, and, and uh, 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 booming. Amen. And, and God will move his, uh, move on the nation to do certain things that needs to be done to have that happen. I just want to say that. Okay. Uh, now that's about it. I, I, I don't have anything else to say, but those are the prophecies that God has given me. And I found, uh, I found, uh, but anyway, with me, I just want to say uh, in the last year or two, I find that the, sometimes the prophecies come to pass pretty fast. Amen. They're coming to pass. And so maybe God is hastening. God is hastening. God is hastening. God is hastening his prophecies and his word and his work. Amen. He said in the last days he'll do a quick word. Believe. And I want to say to please hold on to your personal prophecies. Amen. Wage uh, a good warfare uh, that you may receive uh, your reward and your, your place in it all. Let's just pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for this time. I pray, Father, that... Uh, Lord, uh, you're showing many things to many of your precious people. I pray, my God, uh, that you'll make us, Lord, uh, who are discerning people or people of faith of God. I pray, Lord, even for the spirit of prophecy to rest upon your church and its people. And Lord, I thank you, my God, that you're, you're leading and guiding Australia and even the nations of the world in the way that you have for them. We commit, Lord, uh, into your hand and we pray, Lord, uh, your, your blessing upon each and every. Lord, for every one of us, Lord God, we just pray that it blesses. We praise you and we thank you, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. So just, uh, you can connect with us on, on Facebook or coastalartchurch.com. That's where our site is. We like to hear from you and uh, uh, it would be good to hear from you too. God bless you. We'll see you next week.